from previous video, we set up a TwinKite project. And within this TwinKite project, we set up a PLC project under this uh, TwinKite structure. And we also we set up the tag and uh, we set up the task and cyclic time and this task will automatically run the main and the main call this valve control. That is our actual logic here. And to quick test this system, the next things maybe we would download, connect the actual controller, download your configuration and try to run and hook up the system and get a quick test, right? And beauty things of this uh, TwinCat system, uh, you could also to use the simulation to run and test your logic. So I will quickly show what we can do for both ways. So if you have an actual controller there, the next things we you could do is firstly, we need to build your project, make sure there's no fault, make sure there's no errors there. All right, now there's no error, nothing show error here. And if you have one actual controller, the next things we double click this system. And from here, we select the choose target. And this idea is allow this system, allows your software to search one actual controller you are connecting with. So if you have one actual controller, you could, uh, you could scan the actual controller. And also, if you don't know the actual controller IP address, you could go to the search Ethernet. And from here, select the broadcast search. Select the broadcast search. Because I don't have the actual controller in my hand, maybe this is the same as your condition. You don't have the actual controller, but you try to learn this software, right? And uh, you try to verify the, your, your logic, try to verify your syntax, and try to test the logic call. So other than try to connect uh, one actual controller, uh, most of the time to test my logic, I will use the built-in the simulation software without using the actual controller. So from here, to activate one simulation, firstly, we need to take care about this catalog here. So from the job list, we can see if we connect one actual hardware, most of the time we need to select a CE7 ARM V7. For example, if you use the controller CX9020, so that is an ARM core inside this controller. So uh, if you try to use your Windows system to run the simulation, so we need to select the TwinKit X86 or X64. That depends on what the current system you are using. Basically, we need to select uh, X64. And because we are trying to use the local system, uh, you need to switch to the local. If you connected one controllers before, you could select the one controllers you connected before, or select the choose the actual controller. So if you select this, it will switch to this way, or select the one controller you connected before. That allows this system, all the communication channel connect to the outside. So next thing we are going to test the simulation. So I select the local here. To download this simulation or to download this uh, actual controller, next thing uh, we select this, activate configuration. The target is the local, the project is this project we are going to download. Select OK. All right, from here, we will see a pop-up diagnostic or error is shown here. The setting TwinKite in red mode on shared core inside the VMware is not possible. Um, because firstly, I'm using a virtual machine 
to run this twin tag for programming for programming and configuration no problem but when i try to use this virtual machine to simulate this twin tag project it will pop up this error if you are using the virtual machine definitely 100 percent we will face this problem so i will show you how to figure out this because when you download this twin tag project the twin tag project will use your current windows system and use your current system cpu use this cpu as one core to occupy this core to run the project so that means in this project you need to assign one isolated core to run your project how to assign that we go to the real time here double click it will pop up this so we can see So firstly, uh, in my virtual machine setting, I assigned two processors, two cores uh, to this virtual machine. So that means in this virtual machine, it is using two courses to run this whole Windows system. And in this real-time setting, that means you need to assign one isolated core to this project. And when you download to a simulation system for the twin kind simulation system it will use this isolated core to run that another core it will use for your normal windows system so from here we can see this this available courses it shows share and isolated and this zero related to this isolated core and this one means shared core this shared core means your windows use this core so because there's no isolated core that's why when we try to download to the simulation software it pop up that uh, diagnostic uh, error so from here we need to assign one when we select one because totally i have a two cores uh, in the system i assign one for isolated one for the windows so from here isolated will specially used for this system so i will select this by default so that means i assigned this one core specially for this uh, twin height simulation system and from here we can see the plc task io idle task at uh, this task here and the rt core we can select what kind of core it is it will use because now this isolated core number one is the default so they all automatic switch to the default number one i will leave this here and other than this don't forget if this is the first time you use this system don't forget go to click this site on the target double confirm if this shared and isolated is the same way like this way click set set one to the isolated and set another core or left cores to the share click set it will ask you to select set new numbers of the shared cores on target click yes click the ok because i already set up before so basically it already set up one core for the isolated one core for the share but if this is the first time you set it will ask you to restart but keep in mind at that time you'd better select no not reset because your system have not been saved so you better select no not restart and come back select save save your project save all save all your project and manually restart your system and once you restart the system open up this project double confirm if this uh, course shows one in the isolated course here so we can see in my virtual machine
and this time you can build up the project again make sure there's no error and double confirm selection here TwinCAD x64 and then select a local and once you click activate configuration that means we download this hardware settings to the local the local means the simulation software let's click okay it will ask you to restart the twin cat system in run mode okay all right So after we download this hardware activate configuration, the system will show like this, but we can see this status, something already run. So that means the hardware or simulated hardware has been run. But our logic, if we shift to our logic, it still shows uh, this static uh, status. So that's because we haven't downloaded the program yet. So to download the program, we select the login. The login means we download the software portion. We hit the download, or we hit the login. So when we log in, the system it will assign the port 851 to this project. Click yes. Okay, we see the status shows a little bit different, but seems the system is still freezing here because we see the status is false, right? If we try to uh, write a number to this tag, we can go to the window. We can go to PLC, window, PLC, window, and uh, activate a watch one. And watch one from here, we can type in a tag name. For example, cell dot uh, sensor feedback one, for example. So we can select the number one. We try to write the number one to this value here. To write this number, we can click this button write value so we write the number one to this tag but with this logic uh, this bool one should write into this uh, while back at work tag but why it doesn't work because this system haven't run yet we just download the logic this logic uh, exists in this uh, simulation controller however it's haven't run yet so we need to click this start once it starts, so we see this value right into this tag. And the same way, we test this data one. We come here, select the cell, and select the data one. And this integer value, for example, we write 200, and click this right. So we see this value right into this another tag. So that means your simulation system is running. And one more thing uh, I should mention, someone may ask, do we need a license to run the TwinKite project? So the answer is yes. But however, uh, we have a trial license for you to learn this software, for you to test the system. That's really nice. So talking about this license, currently we are using PLC the only PLC portion. Uh, we haven't programmed PLC HMI yet, uh, as well as uh, safety or other portion. So if we go to the license, double click this license, we can see by default PC1200, this is a one code number in backup system. And this is the PLC license. So the system I'm using that is a seven days trial license. If you are the first time to use this software, when you try to download this software, it will pop up one screen. And that screen will show us like this way. 
it asks you to type in this number. For example, if I type in this number here and click OK, it will activate a seven day trial license. And once and after seven days, if the trial license expire, uh, it will pop up a new screen like this. You can type in a number again and uh, reactivate a new trial license. That's really nice. So basically for the learning wheel, uh, you, can just, you can use this trial license to learn. And once you need to go to the actual project, so uh, the PLC license usually they are already existing in the hardware. Uh, for example, PLC or PLC HMI license, they all located in the back of hardware controllers there. So basically for learning wheel, uh, you just need to activate a seven days trial license to program and to prepare the program. If one day you need to start the PLC HMI, don't forget you need to go to the manager license, activate the PLC HMI, Activate the PLC HMI here, and once you select this, so once you select that, it will pop up like this. So it still use a seven days trial license behind. So this is a license issue. So it's very nice for the new learner. So in this video, we mainly introduced how we can use this simulation platform to test your logic and how to use a watch table to write a number to your tag. But other than this, there are very two important information. One is the real-time setting. To use the virtual machine to test the simulation system, you need to assign one isolated core for your project. Another thing is the license. The license that has a seven days trial license for the test purpose. So it's really nice for the new learner. So that is for this video. Thanks. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe. See you in next video.